Hi everyone, for today's review I wanted to look back at the uh, event exclusive Wiz. Um, this was also available at P Bandai and I think this was released a while back so just wanted to review it too. And right now, um, before I forget if you're interested, I do have uh, this exact copy for sale at the moment too. So feel free to review the link and let me know if you're interested. But yeah, as the packaging goes, um, this is... I guess they've been um, consistent with the packaging, with the design. It's, it's different than the white design with the artwork. So that's something that I guess we got to give them props to them. But yeah, other than that, it's um, nothing else. No major difference. These are all the accessories that come with the figure. I think uh, they're the same accessories as the regular release unless they included extra so change a uh, few things. So let me know but I think they pretty much have the same accessories. I don't think um, they re-sculpted anything out of this figure. I think it's just a repaint. So let me see if my camera zooms in. There's a little bit of shading and as you can tell like this color is more like a, a purple pink versus the the pink red on the um on the first release. Here's a closer look at the figure rotating it. That way you can see the paint. So I think overall they did a great um, job on um, painting the figure. And the hair it has like a, like this shiny effect there. Like this glossy white. But yes, for articulation, as you can see, like the lower legs, pretty much they're stuck on underneath this uh, plastic skirt. I think he's using like the um, first generation hip articulation on the legs. It's hard to tell, but yeah, it's like he does have knee articulation. But I don't know how much range of motion you can get out of it. He does have ankle articulation and toe articulation too. So yeah, I know there's a debate too among fans if like skirt skirts like this should be in plastic or they should be in cloth because I know even um, Bandai is um, they're playing around around with it with the idea sometimes they switch back and forth like I know like the Senseiya figures used to include cloth then they switch to uh, plastic so it just depends. I know that plastic looks better sculpted, but yeah, if you want to get any um any uh, poses or anything like that, cloth is always way better. But yeah, this ring stays on. It's glue, so that gets in the way. The shoulders are sculpted in one piece. He does have uh, the mid-ab articulation and the... Um, lower torso articulation so that's good but I mean there's so much so if you move the arm the shoulder pad is going to get in the way so I, I get what Bandai was trying to do they were trying to capture more of the, the sculpt of this figure So on that and just on the sculpt itself, I think they really did a great job. And here's his uh, staff. So great joints overall. He's able to hold it and hold it in pose.
And he does come with extra head sculpts too. It's so one piece. I'm just taking it out right now. So here's a second one. And here's a third one. So just removing them is really simple. Just pull it out. Well, simple without recording a video. Almost broke the figure. So I also like the Bandai has made the neck piece I mean the neck in one piece now versus separate uh, pieces that pretty much we didn't get that much articulation or sometimes it will break there and that joint right there. Let me see. There we go. Just getting, it's hard getting a good angle on camera. But overall, yeah, um, great figure. He does have, he does come with additional hands too, if, if you want to use them. But I mean, they're just, you know, standard hands, nothing really special about them. The pointing hands. But yeah, this, this figure is, it looks great, just being displayed as is. So let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.